Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I am so excited to have you joining me for today. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my front porch for the fall. We're gonna get it nice and clean and get it all decked out. I am so excited. So if you're here for it, grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte or some apple cider and let's get started. To get started, we are going to be power washing my front porch. Now, if you have been around for a little while, this is probably the third or fourth time that I've power washed my front porch since we moved in last December. And I am absolutely obsessed with cleaning this porch. I definitely will sweep it and, you know, keep it um, leaf free and blow it and everything. However, nothing gets it as clean clean as power washing it and with as many children as I have and the animals that I have there is always stuff to be cleaned off and it's always so incredibly satisfying so that's what we're doing today we're getting started by hosing it all down now I started this porch makeover uh, in the middle of a Saturday, it was about one o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun was on the front of the house. However, um, you know, it was nice and high in the sky, so I definitely wanted to get this done while the sun was still up and still on the porch so that it would dry before I started decorating. That is always a big key for me when it comes to cleaning off the porch because you want to give it ample time to dry and make sure that it's all the way dry before you start walking on it because other Otherwise, you're just going to start adding all those footprints back and that is not fun so make sure that you do it at a time of day that's going to give it lots of time to dry and unfortunately I'm noticing that over time there are some marks on the porch that are not going to come off all of the way this porch is not wood this is plastic so it's nice and easy to clean however some stuff is definitely sticking to it for example, most recently, I did spill a little bit of red wine on the porch as I was coming outside to sit down, and it definitely has left a little bit of a stain. So I'm not going to say that the power washing gets it 100% clean, but it definitely gets it 95% clean. So that's what we're doing today. The power washer that I'm using is a Ryobi. We did purchase it at Home Depot. It's a really great tool to have if you don't have one. We purchased this when we lived in Las Vegas and we've used it to wash cars, to clean the house, the garage door, um, you know, obviously to clean the driveway and the walkway. It's just such a great tool. We used, used to use it to clean off the stucco on our house that would often get dirty. So it's a really good tool to have if you don't have one and you can definitely find them when they're on sale. Um, I would highly recommend having one of these in your garage. And I am not normally the one who likes the power tools so for me to be able to say this is one that i use i use regularly and i find it incredibly satisfying that says a lot so we're going to go ahead and get this front porch cleaned off and we'll move on to decorating it one thing i just want to point out before i stop talking for a couple minutes is just that when you are using a power washer um, the best tip that I can give you is that the closer you get to whatever it is that you're cleaning, the more power you're going to have. So, you know, if there's marks on there that you really want to get off, you want to get nice and close to whatever it is that you're cleaning like I'm doing now. Um, if it's something that you really shouldn't be spraying that hard. So for example, when I wash my car, um, you know, I won't get this close. I'll stay about, um, you know, a foot or two away when I'm hosing it down. Um, but when I get to the tires or something, I'll get nice and close. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video of how we wash the car with the power washer, let me know. I would definitely, um, you know, film that I think that would be a fun video to watch so let me know but like I said the closer you get to whatever it is you're cleaning the more power you're going to have and that's how you're going to work off all those stains and grime and dirt that's really set in and um, I also use this on our siding as well so you're going to notice that I use it both there on the siding as well as on the actual porch itself and it just does 
such a great job getting everything clean. In this clip, you have a really good view of the vent from my dryer. It's that little thing right there that I'm hosing off. There's definitely some schmutz coming out of there. There's some spider webs and such. And there are spider webs all over this porch. So that's what you see me hosing off now as I'm just trying to get rid of all of those spider webs, to get it nice and clean so that Danny can come in and spray. And I'm trying to get rid of any marks on uh, the siding, um, but this area gets pretty dirty just from the vent from the uh, dryer. So if you can imagine what you find like in your dryer vent, um, that's kind of what you find out here too. So I try to get that, you know, pretty clean. I pick up any like large, large pieces or anything like that. Um, and then there just any dirt and grime that's down there that needs to come off. But this area was definitely really dirty, needed to be cleaned really, really well. You'll see there how, how dirty it was. Um, but if you were ever curious about why my dryer is as close as it is to the garage and why I don't flip them to make it easier with the door handles, this is why, because that vent would be right next to my front door. So although that lovely smell of clean laundry on my front porch is wonderful, I definitely did not want all of the vent, um, you know, dust and dirt and hair and grime and everything coming out right there next to the front door so this way when I have the rocking chairs there it's completely hidden you can't even see it and it works out really well so that is why my dryer is where it is Another thing I want to point out when it comes to the power washer, you'll notice here that I'm power washing uh, the outside of the porch along with the steps, but you want to be really careful when you're going around your plants. So you don't want any of that hard pressure going on your plants. Don't water your plants with this. Um, there's definitely water spray and that's okay. It's just that you want to make sure you're not actually uh, directly shooting your plants with the power washer. It's a little bit too forceful for your plants. So be careful with that, uh, but it's okay for them to get the spray that's perfectly appropriate. So once I'm done with the front porch there, we're gonna go ahead and hose off the walkway. So one thing I've been noticing is that as the leaves have been falling onto my walkway, when it's rained or something like that, the leaves will stay there and then um, they kind of stain the walkway. So I do have quite a few leaf stains. I did try to get them out, but unfortunately they did not come out. So it is what it is. I'm sure with time they will fade with the sun, um, <clears throat> but they are there, you'll see them. There's one right in front of where I'm working now. And um, I definitely tried to get it up, but it happens, not the end of the world. Like I said, I'm sure it will fade. 
but again, just getting the water nice and close to the areas that really, really need it and you know, staying a little bit back from those areas that don't need as hard a pressure is the way to go. So in this shot, you can see a few more of those stains from the leaves, but it is what it is. It's perfectly fine. I am loving the slowly changing leaves. I can't wait to see what this all looks like in the fall. It's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. my friends here is the front porch all dry and ready to decorate this is a few hours later and the sun is slowly starting to go behind the trees this is my favorite time of day the lighting is perfect and everything just looks absolutely beautiful especially now that it's nice and clean and you know fresh and nice and freshened up so we're gonna go ahead and get decorating and getting this space ready for the fall making it nice and cozy. The number one thing that I find to scream fall when it comes to the porch is mums and ornamental cabbage. Since I moved to New England, I have been so excited to decorate with these items, especially the ornamental cabbage. So that's what we're going to be working with now. I'm starting off by emptying out these baskets that I have here. I absolutely love them. I try not to plant anything directly into those baskets because I know that I'm going to be switching them out. So that's why I had another pot inside of there. However, we had had some crazy rain, so they were full of rainwater. So that's what I was dumping there. But I'm starting off by adding these tricolor mums into the baskets. This one here, I plopped in and it just kind of fell right in so I decided to take it back out and I did my favorite trick by grabbing a rock from my yard and putting it down at the bottom which allowed for the plant to just kind of stick up a little bit more gave it some height so I love these tricolor mums they were so pretty and they reminded me of a rainbow I love rainbows so loved having those I'm moving these other pots that I got from Better Homes and Gardens over to around my driveway and adding in these yellow mums as well as these red mums. So very pretty. The other super bells, those are petunias. They're, they weren't ready to go, so I just kind of have them over by the garage right now, but they're probably going to find their way to the back porch. And now we're going to pull in the ornamental cabbage. So I didn't feel like getting new pots and pans for everything. I felt like the black was perfectly fine. It all kind of blended. And I love these ornamental cabbage. I want to get some more and definitely want to get some for the back porch. Got to keep my eye out on them. They were very affordable, $5.99 each. And I think they add such a sweet touch. Now we're going to work on my... Uh, porch mat here. So I grabbed this uh, mat from my back porch. That's actually from Hobby Lobby. It was wet, so you might have noticed that. And I am also putting down this mat here that I purchased from Michael's. My son came out to talk to me. I was trying not to get hit in the head with the door. <laughs> 
Um, but I did put the under mat uh, upside down because it was a little bit um, stained from the back deck. So I just put it upside down. It looks brand new and just adds a little bit of cozy warmth there to the front porch mat. There's Charlie. She was hanging out with me and I love that sweet mat. Like I said, it's from Michael's. And now we're going to move over to our rocking chairs. So these rocking chairs definitely need some love. I had painted them, but they're kind of falling apart now. The paint is chipping off. I'm thinking about uh, stripping them down to a really pretty natural oak. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. But I'm replacing that uh, blanket there that I had gotten from Home Goods with a really thin little blanket that I got in the dollar section at Target. And... I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth and color out here. Typically the only one using the blanket is Charlie. However, as the cool mornings keep rolling in, we might need a thicker one than that because it has been in the 50s, so it's been beautiful. I also grabbed these porch pillows from the Target Dollar section, uh, both the long one there and the cute little pumpkin one. Those are both from Target. And the foot poof is from Amazon. This sweet little metal pumpkin here is from the Dollar Tree, and I thought it would just bring a little bit of color into this fern here. And then I decided that I needed to switch out this wreath. So this beautiful wreath here that I have from Michaels, it was not allowing for my storm door to close all the way. So I grabbed another wreath that I had from back in Vegas and it's a little bit smaller and not as beautiful, but I still liked the color that it brought and it allowed for the storm door to close all the way. And here I am just making sure that it does close all of the way so we're not letting in any bugs and it definitely does we're moving over now to the potting table that my husband built for me and just want to mention that this is actually another uh, two hours later <laughs> I had gone to get my nails done um, so this was a long day but uh, this potting table like I said my husband made this for me this potting bench and I do have a video on that it was wonderful a uh, little build and I am making this into its own little kind of pumpkin stand I got that sign there from Target that says pick your own pumpkins and then I did grab these two medium-sized pumpkins from my grocery store and I was trying to figure out how I wanted this to look as I almost break the flower market sign. It does have some command strips on the back, but they don't always stay there. So I have to uh, put them back every now and again. But um, I decided that I was gonna do one pumpkin on the top and one on the bottom. And then I thought, since it does say flower market and I wanna leave that sign up there, let's bring in some more mums. So I had purchased these beautiful orange mums. These are my favorite. I got these at the grocery store while I was out getting my nails done and I thought they were stunning. So I decided to add these to the potting bench as well and I love how this turned out. And finally, we're moving into my absolute favorite touch, and that is these hanging flowers. Oh my goodness, the colors were gorgeous. When I saw them as I was walking into the grocery store, I had to have them. They were absolutely beautiful and giant. In fact, oh, the lady that was helping me to check out at the grocery store said that she had wished that she had snagged them because they were so beautiful. So I love how these turned out. I'm just hanging them on the hooks that Danny and I hung in the spring, and I feel like they just really tie the whole porch together. They're my absolute favorite part. There's a new day that will come up. 
again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. There's a new day to take away your sorrow. And just like that, my house is ready for the change of the season. I am absolutely in love with how the porch turned out. This is my first time ever getting to decorate a porch for the fall, and it just feels so incredibly cozy. I can't wait to enjoy my coffee every morning and a sweet cup of wine with my husband at night. It's just so very warm and inviting. I look forward to hosting Thanksgiving this year and welcoming our friends and family into our home as we make new memories and traditions. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched today's video and all of my videos. I have enjoyed sharing my home with you and I love opening it up to you every single week. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I post new videos every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so there's lots to keep you occupied. And of course, I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful week and I will see you in the next video, my friends. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Try